today we are introducing something new. This interior is 100% original. This is a clean truck. That is not a stock power plant. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and if you clicked on the thumbnail or title of this video, then you probably have a pretty good idea what we're gonna talk about. Yes, I bought another vehicle for the channel and it's not a Fox body this time. It's not a Fox body. In case you're new to the channel, I do own two other Fox bodies. It's primarily been a Fox body Mustang channel, but today we are introducing something new and uh, it is, well, you know what? It's right here. Let's let me go ahead and show it to you guys. Yes, I bought a 1969 Ford F100 and it does say Ranger on here. <laughs> I guess I guess back then Ranger was like a package you could get on these. It ended up becoming a whole other truck. It used to be a Ford Ranger was the small one, but yeah, this is a 69 Ford F100 Ranger spec. It is actually a long bed. So in case you didn't know, this is a really long bed. Now, <clears throat> Now it was modified in the 90s, so it isn't completely stock and original, but I'm gonna show you all about this truck today. The only thing I'm not gonna tell you is why I bought this truck. I have another video coming for that. I am gonna get into all the details of what I got in the next video right after this one. We'll explain why I got it, but let me go ahead and show you some things about it. Like I said, it was kind of resto modded in the 90s, so you can kind of tell, right? Let me check out these wheels. I don't even know what these wheels are called. You guys probably know in the comments, so let me know, but it's got like a, Definitely an aftermarket wheel. These tires as well, radial GT road huggers. I remember those being a big deal in the 90s. Now the truck itself is in really good shape. They also made, in case you didn't know, I'm a big Carolina fan. My uh, other Fox body is blue. My convertible is completely Carolina blue. But they also made a version of this truck. You see it's green, white. Wherever you see the green, they made a blue and white. But yeah, this is, I love this look anyway. It's pretty cool. Obviously I'd rather have the Carolina blue, but already have one of those, right? I already have one of those. So take a look at this interior. Oh, before we do, the windows are tinted along with the old man rain shields here. <laughs> Does have that. And look at these gigantic mirrors, guys. Let's take a look at this. This interior is 100% original. All original interior. See the Ranger badging right here. Well, except for this, the CD player. Obviously it's not the original tape deck, but other than that, Oh, uh, AC was an add-on. It does have AC, so it has an AC add-on to it. Obviously, we get over here, take a look at these gauges. Give you guys some more light there. You take a look at these gauges, and you can tell it does have some aftermarket gauges, right? We've got a big old tack right here, water temperature gauge. Over here, we've got our oil pressure, but the original dash is here, and man, this thing is in great shape. Now, I don't have my rear view mirror. It didn't come with a rear view mirror, but I mean, look at even the headliner completely original from what i understand the interior has never been redone it had a seat cover on it for a long time and the only issue with it is here on the seat and by the way i'm six foot five so i don't fit in it very well but the only issue with it here oh yeah lap belts and no shoulder belts back then is right here this is the original bench seat and it does have you know that uh kind of cut in it and tear in it there but other than that i mean the carpet the carpet is ridiculous um and this saved a lot of it you know having this here but I mean, it's just, uh, check it out too. <laughs> check out the windows. So I had these, these vented windows here. You can completely turn out. And of course, manual windows, you gotta roll them down, right? But I love that, I just love that. So cool, makes a nice clang sound. Also another big feature of this truck, you did not wanna get hit in the side of these, why? The gas tank is right here. Side collision, boom. <laughs> Not a good thing, not a good thing. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get to all the mods. Like I said, obviously it has tent, right? Has some gauges, aftermarket wheels. But the big thing about this is the engine, the engine. So let's go ahead and take a look. And by the way, this is just a huge engine bay. Uh, obviously the grill too, this, this was re-chromed, chrome bumpers at some point. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look under here. Oh, there we go. Look at that power plant. That is not a stock power plant. We've got MSD ignition, which is up over there. Might need to relocate that. I don't know if that's the best spot for it. 
but the whole engine bay this has been powder coated here ford blue that's powder coated and then <laughs> then this engine i mean it's just massive right but yeah there's still a lot of room in here oh yeah that I definitely have to replace like the master cylinder clean it up i don't have to replace it but it looks ugly under here for sure got to do something about that it is four wheel drum so no disc brakes the brakes are something else to push on there let me tell you you really need to work out your right quad on that but the engine it was originally a 390 <laughs> now you guys aren't gonna believe this on this engine but you can probably see up here performer that's right we've got an edelbrock intake manifold we've got edelbrock heads uh the it's a holly 750 carb Holly 750 and definitely this is a great 90s touch guys look at these braided like these fuel lines here look at all these things man these full-on connectors and all this braiding look at the spark plug wires right they're braided spark plug wires a lot of that stuff I'm going to end up changing the air conditioning system is not hooked up but it is here so we might be able to do something with that but yeah it's got a big old flat tap at cam and it sounds good I'm gonna let you guys hear it in just a second but the engine itself like I said it was a 390 it's been rebuilt it has a stroker crank in it and it's been bored out so it's 434 cubic inch engine it's an fe motor it's backed up by c4 trans and the engine was dyno to have the engine dyno paperwork it made 465 horsepower and 505 foot pounds of torque this truck has 505 foot pounds of torque and it's gas engine not diesel i mean that is just yeah my gas mileage is not going to be very good in this thing but that, you know that doesn't matter that's not what this is about but the engine is just massive and it sounds really really good it does have long tube headers we've got long tube hooker headers and we have full true dual exhaust that's right we've got true duals all the way back you can see where the exhaust exits over here right here the exhaust is coming out got the same thing over here on the other side so dual exhaust sounds fantastic also this bumper has also been replaced over the years so it was done in the 90s like i said mostly done in the 90s and then it just kind of sat in a garage and this is a clean truck now there is some rust right you can look here in the bed i mean there's some rust it's not great but honestly for a truck i mean you got to think about this truck is over 50 some years old right so for that it's in really really good shape uh, it does have a bigger than normal radiator i think this might be like a four core or something i don't know we've got some electric fans going on here so many goodies on this truck guys i can't even get into all of them in case you're wondering we are going to do some stuff to this project i am going to have it at matt's shop fox mustang restoration i go there all the time again in case you're new to the channel and you don't know that he focuses on fox bodies but he knows these old ford trucks too i got a ford i hope you guys like it this is going to be a permanent vehicle on the channel it's not going to go anywhere for a long time probably never and again i'll get into the why on the next upload of why i got it but yeah i've got a ford 69 ford truck what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments below was it a good buy a bad buy i'm super excited about it you know the mod you know the engine uh the only th other thing i didn't tell you c4 transmission was rebuilt as well it was rebuilt about 10 years ago and then the rear end it's a nine inch rear end it's full posi rear end 389 gears so this thing is terrible on the highway uh, i've got some driving clips of it in the highway i'll throw those in real quick right here So you got to hear a little bit of the sound there in the driving clips, the, the drive-bys, I guess whether the rolling shots or whatever. But yeah, so I drove by, but you, I don't know what, the, the speedometer doesn't work probably because the rear end gears have been changed. It works, but it's like way over, reading way higher than it actually should. But it's a blast to drive. It's just, I was tacking about, I think about 70 miles an hour is like 37, 3800 RPM. So you don't really want it. It's not a highway driver. Uh, everything does work. Before I crank it up here, let me go ahead and show you guys. Now this is rusty, you gotta, definitely gotta fix the handle, but I mean, that's solid. And you can hear that, like this thing weighs, this thing has some weight to it. This thing is just solid, a solid truck. Uh, the long bed does make it a little heavier, obviously. Uh, and these are some big tires, but we can probably go bigger, but I just can't get over like this interior. It's just, ah, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy I got this truck and uh, anyway, enough of all that let me go ahead maybe i'll make this a short video for once my videos are always very long maybe i can have a short one probably not we'll see let me go ahead and crank it up for you guys and let you hear it
Are you kidding me? Listen to that cam chop. Oh my God. It sounds so good, all in A and yeah, wow. The sound alone on this truck, guys, maybe you want to buy it. Now you do have some metal knocking around in there, which you can hear, but that's actually because it's a you know solid lifter, flat tap it cam, it doesn't sound the same as hydraulic. Matt's already heard the truck run. I brought him with me before I was gonna buy it. Matt from Fox Mustang Restoration. He looked it over, he pointed out a few problems, but overall he said the engine is solid. Uh, like I said, it was recently, the engine, I didn't say this, the engine was rebuilt in 2012. Even though it was based on a 90s build, the engine was rebuilt in 2012. So I'm having to talk really loud because this truck's so loud here. <laughs> But uh, let me go ahead and turn it off and, and wrap this up. God, I love this. So that is basically it in a nutshell. That is what I bought for the channel. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna stop working on the SSP or Tar Heel Fox. In fact, I know uh, I put out a video recently about what I'm gonna do about Tar Heel Fox. I did decide, guys, I am going to go ahead and put the 306 engine that was for the SSP, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into Tar Heel Fox. And I just felt a drop of water. So yeah, that's what we're doing with Tar Heel Fox. Uh, SSP is still going. I need to get the SSP to a certain spot where I can roll it outside. Matt has limited shop space, so I need to get the SSP where it can go outside and not get more rust, right? So I can bring Tar Heel Fox in, drop the engine in, then pick back up on the SSP. But this thing will be in there from time to time. We're gonna do little updates on it, need to address the brakes. The steering is god awful. This is, believe it or not, this is straight on. <laughs> it's like that. And it goes all over the road. Super loose, super loose steering, but uh, worth it, worth it in my opinion. So. What do you guys think? I bought a 69 F100 truck and I love it. Big block, FE motor, 390 base, 434. Just a beast, just a beast. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. It's getting kind of windy out here, sorry about that. But I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can count on consistent content and a lot more content on this truck right here. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I felt another drop of water, so we're gonna get out of here. And we'll see you next time here on Gearhead 704.